Patients are concerned about cleanliness at the dentist office. It all comes after the state fined Knoxville dentist Dr. Clarence Neighbors $11,000 and placed him on a two year probation for improperly sterilizing tools and forging certificates. 10 News reporter Katie Inman spoke to other dentists about how to make sure the instruments they use are clean. Katie. Robin, every dentist I spoke to said the number one thing you should have with your dentist is trust. The American Dental Association says most dentists follow the required protocol. It's pretty routine uh, and it's the law. So uh, everyone should be doing it. When you sit down in the dentist chair, you assume the instruments your doctor is using are sterile and safe. And Dr. Jack Gocher with UT agrees. I'm, I'm comfortable that in, in almost all cases that heat sterilization protocols are followed and I'm comfortable that uh, machines are tested. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. There may be some some outliers that, are, that occur from time to time, but I think those are you know widely the exception rather than the rule. So how does that work? Dr. James Kotsianis says that most dentists follow specific protocol for sterilization. All instruments should be sterilized with steam under pressure by autoclave equipment such as this beside me. All, pa all instruments are packaged and sealed and placed in the autoclave and are sterilized under steam pressure. The machines themselves should also be tested weekly to make sure the instruments are cleaned properly. Everybody should be doing it. Like I said, it's the law. So what can you do as the patient to make sure those tools are clean? Dr. Pablo Fonseca with Sequoia Dental Arts says trust is huge. Ask your dentist. They're, they're probably more than happy to show you the whole step by process. And if your doctor hesitates, that could be a red flag. If they feel uncomfortable sharing with you, that, that may be something to think through. But I think uh, most of us who are on the up and up would be happy to share that. If you're concerned you may have contracted an illness from cross-contamination in the dentist chair, the ADA says you should contact your dentist first and then follow up with a physician. Robin and John. Good information to share, Katie. Thank you.